Hi there folks and welcome back to my latest video. Um, I haven't had a chance to get out doing a video for a few weeks, um, holidays and what have you. Uh, the last video I've done was the results for my giveaway and I'd like to congratulate Paul on uh, winning those prizes mate. I hope you're happy with them. Right, I've come to this beautiful spot here. Um, it's warm, I'm sweating buckets. Um, the undergrowth and everything's quite dense. I'm scratched the bits and I'm really thirsty. So what I'm going to do now is lose the pack, get some water, rehydrate, um, and then what I'll do is I'll uh, pan you round. I'll show you where it's at because this is where it's at today. Like. Better. Right, I'll show you round. Right then, we came in that way. As you can see on the clip of the video before this, um, I had to use that as a bridge to get across the water source. And we come through here, and I've got a canny little spot there from there over to there where I can set up a hammock and tarp. Got a nice little spot over here where I've got a fire pit. Um, so I sit here and chill out. I haven't been here for a while. So for, today's the first time, um, probably this year, really. Um, me pack on there. Got a little area here for a fire pit. I've had a little bit of a tidy out in that. I'm surrounded by all these deciduous trees. There's hazel and all sorts here, rowan. I'm going to set the tarp up along here to sit under and I've made myself a little uh, backrest for sitting on the ground in front of the fire and what have you. So what I'm going to do now is get this uh, tarp set up and we'll uh, have a look of what I've been making. There we go, a neat little trick to keep the uh, pack off the ground. Nice and accessible so you can rummage through it. It's simply just a piece of cordage with a bowline hitch tied at one end. Do a marlin spike hitch and put a little wooden toggle through it. And just uh, the handle there on the pack, just simply use it to support it. Keeps it off the ground, keeps it dry. Right, I've set up a bit of a tap shelter there. Just something to get under. Obviously, it gives a bit of uh, shelter from the sun and uh, the rain. And then the main purpose of this video is this. What I've made. It's a Native American inspired bushcraft backrest. And it's simply two poles lashed together with cross members starting from the bottom right the way up you simply lashed them on and then it's supported at the back with a stick with a Y in it and that just beds into the ground it's something that can be quite easily made at camp and lift, bring a foam mat in your pack for sitting on and perfect for sitting in front of the fire and it's at a size where it could actually go under there and I'll show you that in just a bit but first of all we'll uh, try it out. Uh, 
there we go moment of truth that's got my weight lent against back against it and it's quite a nice comfortable seating position It'd be a little bit better if the ground was a little bit more even it seems to be sloping off slightly but uh, it's perfect ideal ideal for just sitting by the fire the camera's set up in the middle of the fire pit at the moment but yeah simple um, skills required to make it like you say it's just a few lashings uh, and it can be left at camp quite easily hidden out the way hung up on a branch or anything and perfect just reduces the amount of kit that you need to carry in you can put a ground sheet underneath you if the ground's damp just to uh, keep you dry and like you say it's a nice little spot just for sitting by the fire and just enjoying your time in camp and it's nice just listening I'll say that again it's nice just sitting here um, listen to the water trickle by listen to the birds I'm just chilling out I think what I'm going to do just now is um, get a small fire going and get a brew on and we'll put this underneath there so we can see uh, how much space there is with that and we'll give that a go now and I'll get this fire going because I'm ready for a brew and the insects are absolutely bugging me silly well, I will get that done now There we go, there it is under the tarp. Still plenty of room above it. Plenty of room to stretch your legs out. So I'm gonna get underneath it. There we can see actually how much space there is. So I'll go and get the tripod now and we'll have a look at that. There we go. Plenty of room, still plenty of headroom above me. And if the tarp was set out across there, but if the weather's bad, you can just get underneath here. You've got a backrest um, to sit there, support yourself with, and just sit and wait until the rain stops, or sit comfortably waiting for the rain to stop. Yeah, I'm going to get a fire going now and get a brew on.
There we are, we've got a nice steady boil. So we're gonna get a brew. And then just sit back and relax and enjoy listening to the woodland and listening to the water, listening to the birds and just let the fire die down. I'm absolutely loving this life. Now we'll get rid of the pot hanger. There we go, I've got my brew. Now I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time here, relaxing, enjoying my brew, listen to water, listen to the birds, and just let the fire die down before I head off back, wrap up and head off back. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If anybody would like any instructions of how to make this, um, please leave a comment and I'll make a video on how I've made it. Um, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, please share with friends, family. And I'll see you on the next one. And stay safe. Bye for now, folks. And cheers.